made it. Better be able to get down the other side. Man, that was tough. Good day. So I, well, I think I'm at the right trailhead. Today I am heading into the backcountry for the first time this year. Super stoked. It's been a while. So today we're heading into, uh, I'm going to try and do a loop hike overnight. Uh, we're heading up into a place called the Promised Land. It's on the uh, Great Divide here, down in Crow's Nest Pass. And uh, if all goes well, I'm going to loop up over a high call and drop down into what's called the Andy Good Basin and uh, find a place to camp down on the other side. So I think it's about 20, just over 20 kilometers return. And the start here is at uh, Ptolemy Creek, which I got across about uh, seven times coming up here. Yeah, super stoked for a hike of the year, and it's August, so it's been a long time coming. Okay, well, I finally found it. First crossing here. I'm going to get wet feet today, so I might as well just accept it. These rocks are slippery. Uh, yeah, so I parked this a little, a little further back, but uh, yeah, I don't want to cross that log there. So I was going to get wet feet today. That was the plan. My boots leak, so it doesn't matter. I don't have water shoes, so here we go. Time to get wet. And a soaker already. <clears throat> so this is what the trail looks like so far. It's like an old uh, an old road. Although uh there's no more motorized vehicles allowed on this, so that's good. Let's see how it goes. My intention is there's a, a little tarn up by the tree line in the Andy Good Basin. So I'm going to take the route up over the Promised Land into the Andy Good Plateau. Um, a big karst plateau up there limestone and uh, famous for some caves up there and sinkholes and skylights lots of caves and stuff so a lot of people do some spelunking up there this one called gargantuan cave so maybe there might be some people up there doing that but uh yeah, I'm going to try and get over the call at about 2,400 meters. Drop into the Andy Good Basin and see if I could find a nice camping spot at uh, this little tarn up there. Unless I find a much cooler campsite somewhere and decide to stay there. So I'm hitting it kind of random. Either way, I'll be up in the high country. And it's been really calm and hot lately. But last night the winds picked up pretty good. So we'll see uh, see what happens tonight. My tent didn't fare out very well last fall in the, the high winds up in the Alpine above North York Creek. This tent is uh, completely, completely flat. The winds are crazy! But I should survive the night. 
man. Fucking destroyed. See how it holds up tonight. But hopefully wherever I'm camping I can have a fire, but gotta be really careful. Everything's really dry right now, obviously, and there's lots of fires burning in BC. Just flared up, so unless I end up camping way up in the Alpine, then yeah of course there's no wood up there, so alright. Let's see where the We'll uh, get back to you when uh, we hit the first crossing here. All right, first crossing. There's lots of down trees and stuff, but uh, I think I'd rather just cross the creek and not risk slipping on a log. Like I said, I'm gonna get some wet feet, but I'm cool with that. So. Let's give her. Let's go up here. All right, screw it. Wet feet. Cool. First crossing done. Six more to go. All right, crossing number two. Let's do this a little deeper. Let's go right here. Crossing number three. Here we go. Splash, splash. Ooh, she beat. All right. Officially soaked. Refreshing though. And back on the trail. And crossing number four. Let's give her. Ooh, that's deep. Let's try over here. That's deep too. Right there. Yeah, I'm gonna still have to go right here. Like I said, feet are already wet, so it don't matter. Crossing up here. That 
one's moving pretty quick. Cross those trees up there. Probably. Uh, Let's try crossing this. I'm gonna put the camera away though. Yeah, I think this is uh, crossing number five here. Looks pretty easy. Couple more to go. And then uh, there's a junction at about five and a half K. When one takes you to Any Good Basin and the other one takes you up into the promised land. And we're going to head up into the promised land and then loop around. I'm on my way to the promised land. Wow! I'm on a highway to hell. Mm -hmm. All right. I think this is number six. Said there's a little tree there, but I'm just gonna walk on through. Walk on through. Easy breezy. Easy peasy. There's one more to go. The trail pretty much stays like this to the five and a half K mark at the junction. And then the steep stuff begins after that. But, uh, yeah, it's a nice little trail so far. Old road, good line of sight. And what I mean by line of sight is what you can see in front of you. So poor line of sight would be a single track with lots of overgrown bush, which doesn't allow you to see too far ahead for wildlife and whatnot, but Nice big wide old road like this gives you a fantastic line of sight for any potential animals. And of course, pretty much impossible to lose a trail like this too. So I think after the junction, it narrows out into a single track. All right. I think this is either the second to last or the last crossing. Obviously this one's a nothing burger. But uh, views are starting to open up. Bit of a haze today. I can't tell if uh, it's just smoke or if 
maybe we might have some weather moving in we'll find out Slippery. Hey, bada boom, bada bing. Check this out. Some beauty views coming up here. said a little hazy otherwise pretty nice pretty sweet awesome out okay so I think this is the junction here yeah so you got uh, this is a primitive campground here nice spot we're at about five and a half K nice fire pit there that way to the promised land that way to Andy Good Basin. Just having a sandwich. Uh, if you're ever at the IGA in Blairmore, they actually make pretty good sandwiches. It's the uh, assorted, I don't know, deli, sub, Italian, assorted Italian. About five bucks. Pretty good sandwich. A nice trail so far it's good to be out good to be out in a new area this is uh, castle wildland provincial park when you cross into BC up ahead it's uh, provincial land so pretty sure it's just random camping up here no motorized vehicles so that's cool Only tracks I've seen is uh, there's definitely a horse or two through here, a moose for sure, and uh, a mountain bike or two, and me. No signs of bear though, no bear poop or nothing. Definitely, uh, probably less bears down this way than there is up in Jasper. I haven't seen any down here since I moved, but I haven't done a lot either, so. Been a while since I've uh, made any videos, well, posted any on my YouTube channel. Sorry about that, but life happens. I did get a couple of, couple overnighters in there last summer and a, a peak. And I uh, did make some videos, so hopefully, uh, I don't know if you guys would like to see those, let me know and uh, I'll put them up as well. Okay, straight line. Dragonflies. Bugs are good. No mosquitoes. A couple of horse flies. Pretty surprised actually. I don't know if uh, you can quite see it with the sun, but check out that peak. That's pretty cool. Jagged. Don't know 
if you can see it, but there's a whole sorry natural arch there on that ridge. Getting steeper now. Just gonna go slow and steady like I would climbing any mountain. That's basically what I'm doing. So onward and upward. Well, gaining some ground. Whew. Getting up there. Came from down there. But the views are opening up. Pretty impressive. Not too hot. The winds are picking up a bit. Overall, pretty good. Just uh, get slowly getting in the rhythm here. Still climbing. No switchbacks on this trail. She pretty much goes straight up. Yep. <coughs> well, gaining some ground. Almost up into a uh, plateau. Pretty close to the tree line. Nice quiet spot out of the wind. Flat ground. Yeah, trail starts pretty much going straight up there after a while. I'm sure it keeps going from <coughs> up here too. So we'll see what happens when we get to the tree line. All right. Getting up in the Alpine now. I think to uh, get up through there that call pretty sure that's the route take a little break up here check the map have a snack drink and then we'll keep on giving her another uh, sweet little campsite this fire pit benches Sweet views. No real water source around though. I'll take a break here. Okay. So, first part of the objective made it to the tree line. Feel pretty good, so we're gonna keep going. Next objective is a biggie. We got to get up into that high pass call there and then stay to the left around that peak hopefully can get to the other call the eight between Andy Good Peak and then we're about a kilometer or so descent down to hopefully a nice little camp at a little lake So yeah, bit of climbing to go yet. Okay, we're definitely in uh, 
cave area. It's a big sinkhole right here. Pretty cool. I don't know if there's a cave up over there, but come around this side. Let's see. Is there an opening there? I think up in there you can see there's kind of like a crack. I think that's the cleft cave that goes through the mountain. Pretty sure what I've seen in photos anyway. What's this? an opening there I don't know I ain't going in there's another opening over there like a skylight a hole opens up into a cavern I'm sure I ain't going in there either got some yellow columbine here columbine Lots of wildflowers today. It's awesome up here. So glad I came. Oh, it's been far too long. aren't you? Alright, see ya. Okay, let's get up this bastard. I guess the high point up here. Woo! It's a good climb. from the camp hopefully we'll find out to the day oh it's a long climb up five hours 
just over 10k about another k or so to go i gotta stay along here somewhere Plateau. Oh, look at that lake. Wow. Fudge camp there. The exposed. entrance to a cave there there's a trail up that way I gotta stay going behind or around this rock outcrop and then heading over that way it's a pretty uh, pretty cool area I got it all to myself gonna be a nice night in camp Well, yeah, good day to be out. The weather's perfect, actually. It's another hole. I don't want to get too close. you like dark small spaces and things like that this will probably be a pretty good area for you I prefer to be on the top of the mountain than underneath it myself to each their own Let's see if we can look down from here Ooh, that goes down Creepy. Holes everywhere. <clears throat> the call should be just around this corner. That's Andy Good Peak there, I believe. So I should see the call here. Now, the question is can I get up and around? down the other side I'd hate to have to come back the way I came Whew, I'm tired that's a long 10 12 K man six hours on the go all right top of that snow patch one with the truth here let's see if I can get around that and the call is just right there I can see a little trail I don't know how much snows on the other side but I don't really have an ice axe to do any glissading but oh man Dinner is gonna be good. That's what I know. It's definitely a challenging hike for sure. Especially 
ready for the first one of the year. And me being out of shape. It's one way to get back in shape. All right. Definitely get around that. Sweet. cool look at this Woo! oh made it Just better be able to get down the other side man that was tough that was tough All right. And a good call. Yes. Oh, made it. Hope that's not a cliff. I'm in big trouble. Whew. That was tough. All right, let's see if we can get down this. Getting late and I'm hungry, thirsty. That's the Andy Good Basin. I don't know if you can see. There's my lake down there. That's my campsite for the night. So we're close. I just got to navigate through here. Hopefully there's no cliffs there. Or I'm screwed. But I should be able to get down. We'll find out. Oh, that last bit was tough, man. I'll say. Getting old. Whew. Hope I can get through there. Okay, I gotta push on here. Oh, finally, off that mountain. Just came from up there. Oh man, that was tough. Look at all these wildflowers. Master and uh, paintbrush. It's gorgeous. Mm -mm -mm. 
Oh. So overall, oh, the trail up to uh, the promised land was good. Although I was just taking it slow and steady. Took me a while. And then up to that first call, that wasn't too bad. But then traversing from the, the first call over the Andy Good Plateau to that call up there, that was tough. And then descending that thing was pretty tough too. Technical, like hiking technical, so. But uh, yeah, I knew I did it right because I can guarantee you if I had to just hike to here today instead of taking the long way around and planning to do the full loop, I would have woke up in the morning, looked at that and said, no fucking way. <laughs> I know myself now. So I committed to doing the full loop and set my goal to camp here. So I had to kind of push to get up and over. It wasn't really that many places to, I could have I camped up there if I had to, but I didn't want to. So it all worked out. Just uh, took me a little longer. Good eight hours. So now I'm gonna find a nice spot to make a fire, a little one. And then uh, get some dinner going. Good times. what it's all about camp by a lake it's a little fire get some dinner going the sun's going down Nice thing tomorrow is I only got 8.2k out on a good trail, so be way less. <clears throat> that means I can have a nice sleep in tomorrow 
no rush to get out of here unless the weather's crap. That should be all right. That was good weather today though. It was perfect. A little windy, but not too bad. A nice spot to camp. That was a tough hike though. But it was worth it. for dinner tonight. Well, we got basically a pasta. I got some uh, leftover chorizo sausage soup I made at work. And we're gonna mix that with some itchy ban noodles. And make a pasta dinner. So there's the soup pot. Dump the soup. You see, Slow boil. The Ichiban noodles. There's one of those right in there. One. They don't. There's dinner and easy. Nice and easy. <clears throat> it's a beautiful sunset tonight. Of course the orange that's from the smoke from the fires in BC. Well, there's some fires burning. Been lucky so far this summer. It's been a hot couple of weeks. That's beautiful. Beautiful rays. Uh, ain't nothing better. Oh, so worth it.
go today, all downhill, which is nice. Yeah, good night last night. Alright, let's uh, get up and get her going. Beauty morning. Packed up. <clears throat> Try to make it uh, leave no trace as possible. Poured a bunch more water on the fire pit just to make sure. It's about 8.6k to go, I guess. And the main trail, I just gotta head up, I think, up over that hill there meet up with the, the main trail out of here it's all downhill from here okay I think I'm good onward and downward awesome there's the trail so I kind of had to go around that hill from the lake because it cliffs out so I came up this way boom dynamite so just down over there somewhere I stumbled upon some bones uh, four of the bottom legs of I don't know look like a goat or a sheep but there's uh, quite a lot of white hair around too so I'm thinking goat uh, yeah, the bottom floor from the knee down basically were there pretty much picked clean but scattered bottom jaw I didn't really want to start filming because You know, it's older you don't want to linger but and then there was uh, I don't know it's a bit of the spine and I think the front leg joints or something Something, something took it down. Well, there's actually the rib cage right there. Wow, crazy. So, it's oh. <coughs> one of three things that could do it grizzly bear a cougar or a pack of wolves or a wolf Junction. Just came that way. As you can see, see that cut line going straight up. That's uh, that's the trail. So 
There's no switchbacks out here. The loop is complete. Five and a half K to go. The creek crossings there. <sighs> yeah. We get to get home. Relax. It's a good workout. Hungry. Go get a burger.